Hello world, it's me again, Jamangbai, and welcome to Jamangbai Builds. On this episode, we'll be tackling the Nanoblock Phoenix. In my constant search for cool looking Nanoblock models, I stumbled upon this one. I also learned that this was a part of a three pack set at one point, including a dragon and a unicorn called the Fantasy Collection. This is a beginner level kit that includes 140 pieces and it's a two star or a two block. So it should be a pretty straightforward build. I hope so. We'll see. Inside the pack, you get six step instructions. In addition to that, you get four baggies filled with clear and some solid colored blocks. Also in today's episode, we'll be taking a look at the nano block display arm, so the phoenix can rise from the ashes. And why not? Let's try this LED plate and see if it makes this thing pop. It's worth a shot. That's it for me. Let's build up.
神殿に来るがよいさすれば、お主の願い必ず叶えようぞ。お腹が空いてあるよ。どこまで行けばいいあるか。Alright, let's take a look at the display arm. I really didn't care for the stand that came with the Phoenix because it was way too low. I wanted my Phoenix in the air, so I decided to go with the display arm. And thanks to its modular design, I decided to go with this configuration for the LED plate. Alright, let's talk about the Phoenix. 
First and foremost, I love the way that this looks. It looks amazing. I love the part separation, the colors. I love everything about it. However, it's very delicate. With my experience with Nanoblock so far, I've noticed that certain design choices have certain pieces hanging off the edges, and if you bump them, they fall off immediately. So I had to use glue. All of these areas that I'm pointing to right now, from the feathers on the wings, all of the feathers on the wings actually, the head, even the tail feathers, they all had to be glued down. I use thin cement, which is something that I don't recommend, but if you have any recommendations, please leave them in the comments below. I can't get over how amazing this phoenix looks. The clear colors, the solid colors, that really brings this whole thing together. Especially when you look at the wings. The yellow and the red pieces have that blend of orange in between, and that looks awesome. It has that fiery look. In terms of articulation, there are five main points, basically in the wings and the base of the tail feathers. But in addition to that, you can also move the feathers if you didn't actually glue them down like I did. And each area is represented by a ball peg and hinge, ball peg and hinge, ball peg and hinge, ball peg and hinge, ball peg and hinge. I've turned off the lights and now let's take a look at the LED plate. With the configuration that I've used, it doesn't look that great at all. So I'll probably have to go back to the small stand that I didn't want to use in the very beginning. So what do I think overall? Amazing. I love it. Um, despite the fact that I had to do some gluing, that didn't take away from the experience at all. I just wanted to make sure that this thing didn't fall apart. Because with nanoblock models, they can be very delicate. So you have to be extremely careful, especially if you're displaying them. I'll give this Phoenix a 5 out of 5. And that wraps it up for today's episode of Jamung by Builds. I'll see you in the next episode. But for now, keep on building. See you next time.